Legend of Total War here with a new campaign series for Napoleon Total War. Now this is the only Total War game pretty much that I've never covered the grand campaign for. Uh, just because it was so similar to Empire Total War I suppose. And it's not really my favourite but it's, it's still a good game I guess. Um, so we're going to be playing Napoleon's campaign of Europe. Because I've already done campaign series on both of those. But that was years ago and I'm not continuing that. If, I might one day pick up the Imperial Psychopath uh, achievement uh, attempt, but not today. So we're playing on the hardest difficulty, of course. Which I find um, a little bit unenjoyable um, with this game. Because, you know, you, this game focuses a lot on guns. And uh, the high battle difficulty makes your troops very inaccurate and makes the enemy troops incredibly inaccurate. So your elite troops are about the same quality as militia, um, which I don't like. It annoys me, but that's okay. That's you know you'd always just shift the difficulty down. Now, if this is a game that you like but haven't purchased yet, um, I've got a link in the description to White Tie Games, which I'm an affiliate of. Now. The way White Tie Games works is that they get their uh, CD keys straight from the publisher, so straight from Sega, and uh, a portion of your purchase um, price, uh, sale, goes to the YouTuber that, that linked you to it. So if you haven't purchased the game but want to, um, check out White Tie, Ga White Tie Games. Um, it's just an, an alternative um, to like G2A and um, just Steam in general. Anyway, let's just jump straight into this and have some fun. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on this campaign. Nothing too challenging, just for fun. France was aflame. Napoleon gave France greatness. He gave France everything. Glory, justice and law. Nothing was untouched. His code made justice a reality for all. I watched the Emperor at work. He was a force of nature, a storm blowing away the cobwebs. The old enemies plotted against him. Britain, Austria, Russia and their league spittles. Napoleon was to be removed and his flame extinguished. We worked to stop them. In 1805, all of France, his empire, prepared for war. The treacherous British have once more conceived plans against France. Pulling Austria and Russia into a coalition, Austrian armies have amassed in Bavaria and Italy, with Russian forces already marching to their aid whilst the Royal Navy prevents the free movement of French shipping along every coastline. Their Admiral Nelson is not to be underestimated. Prussia, so far, has stayed out of the coalition, but they will not raise arms to assist us, and the revolution must eventually be taken to them. Occupied Württemberg and Bavaria cry out for our help, and French troops stand ready to enter German-speaking lands to oppose the combined might of the Austrian and Russian armies. Conquest of Vienna and Moscow should be our main objectives, unless the meddling of other powers bids our intervention in other areas. All right. So you already start off at war with quite a lot of other factions. This panel enables you to okay, no, 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 no advice. Okay, where, where's that? I hate, I fucking hate advice. Um, game settings, advice, go away. This is fresh installations for my new computer. Um, have I got everything here that I want? I don't want time limits on battles. All right. Although 60 minutes is heaps. I, I still don't want it. Okay, so we're with Austria. Hang on, I can just have a look here. Austria, Kingdom of Sicily, Sweden, Russia, Great Britain. I think we're at war with more more territory than we are um, neutral to. Uh, we do have Spain as an ally, but as you guys know, I don't like allies. Now, I would like to go for whole map completion on this game, but we'll see how we go. Uh, it really does depend on how much I enjoy it. Um, this, this actual this campaign, I've never actually 100 completed, 100 percent completed. Funny story though about it. Uh, first time I played this game. Um, I mean, I had always purchased every Total War game up until Napoleon. When when Empire Total War came out, I was very disappointed with that game, and I turned away from Total War for a very long time. And years after Napoleon was out, I actually pirated the game. Um, it's okay; I can I can admit to it now because I, years later, ended up purchasing it legitimately. 
and I bought a po- I downloaded a pirated copy and played about seventy five percent of the campaign before re- um, uh, getting to a an unblockable. Uh, just I couldn't get past a a crash to desktop, and of course I couldn't update the game or anything like that because it was a pirated copy, and um, I never finished it. Now when I purchased this game, I still didn't really play that much of it. Now, of course, as you guys know, I definitely do not endorse piracy. This happened years ago, many, many, many years before I was a YouTuber, and I certainly do not endorse piracy now. It was a stupid thing to do, and like I said, I didn't end up finishing it, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, I don't even endorse uh, piracy as a try-before-you-buy thing, except with Game of Thrones. I mean, in, in Australia, Game of Thrones, they just... The dude could give us no option but to pirate because I don't want to fucking purchase Foxtel. We're trying to look for other legitimate ways to purchase that, the series, to watch it legitimately, but it's hard. It's hard in Australia to watch it because you can't just watch it after the fact on YouTube. you got to watch it on the day it comes out because everyone spoils it on Facebook. Anyway, um, let's, let's, that's neither here nor there. Let's just play the fucking campaign. Alright, now one thing I, I don't like about having a really established starting position where you've got lots of regions and armies already built up is because it's not how I've designed it. And um, the units are scattered all over the place. And I don't think the units that I've got are, are to my design. I like to keep things very uniform. I like to have, you know, one type of cavalry, one type of, you know, type of gunman. I don't like to have two units of this, two units of that, two units of this, because everything gets all messy and I don't like that. I like to keep things standardized. So we'll have to start reforming over time. Um, are we at war with anyone that's on our border? Let's have a look here. Well, there's Venice down this way. Where are we going to send Napoleon? That's the first thing we're going to decide. These here, are, we're allied with all of this. Uh, but not up this way with Prussia. And I believe we start off with a fleet down this way. Uh, let's see if we can steal some stuff. I don't have any trade ships. Let me just see here, though. So we've got the Spanish that we're allied with them here. But Great Britain does have some ships down here. I don't know. We'll see how we go with that. It's been such a long time since I've played this campaign. I'm not going to know everything about it. Uh, where, where is the, the learning centers? Uh, let's see, research technology is coming from Orléans, which is over there. Okay, so we've got to send the gentleman over there. Like I said, the game is very similar to Empire Total War, it's just a few a few tweaks. Um, what do we want to focus on first? I don't know what any of these texts do, so I need to have a look at it. Reduced upkeep cost for all army units, that will certainly help. Classical and economic. I don't like that there's certain texts that actually decrease happiness, that's annoying, but... Whatever, we'll sort that out. So that actually helps. Plus two happiness for lower classes. Well, let's have a look at the happiness. So we're just, of course, on normal tax rate here. Uh, and the public order is under control. But what happens when we take a new region? If we have a look here at our politics, most of it's under control. How are we going financially? Uh, Where's that? National summary. We're not making a hell of a lot per turn. We need to increase that. Public schooling. Public schooling is probably a good idea to get. So let's go for that. So really just trying to decide who do I want to kill first. Allied with the Swiss Confederation. How long would it take Napoleon to get down here? It take a few turns. We can walk through their territory. Yeah, if we come down here and focus on Italy, I think that'd be a good idea. But I don't know. Maybe I should walk past here and go to... Maybe I just pick on these guys here, Prussia. How, how many territories does Prussia have? Well, we can trade with them. They've actually got quite a few territories. Um, so Austria, all at war with them. Great Britain, we don't want to invade there just yet. Or maybe we do. Maybe we should focus on Great Britain. Because all I need is a ship to get my troops from here to there, and then we can go and invade England. But is that a smart decision? I don't think so. I don't know what to expect in this campaign from them. That being said, there's not really a whole lot of ships out here. Who's this? Is that... No, it's not Nelson. 
Where, what are we going to do with Napoleon? I can't just sit around on my hands and do nothing. I'm thinking just fuck it, just go to war with Prussia. I think we can deal with them. Who's this? No, no, no. Don't take on our allies just yet. Wait until, wait until this is dealt with other stuff first. Alright, um... Alright, I'm going to combine a few of these... These forces. To create a full stack. And you can just stay here for the time being. Now, they're, they're going to need new troops, so we'll get them from France, from, uh, from Paris. Let's have a look here. Line infantry, chasseurs, let's have a look at the difference. 120 men, 160 men, same upkeep cost. They've got higher range, but you know, these got more, more men by quite a bit. Better morale, better defense, better charge bonus, better melee attack. Less ammunition, better reloading skill power because of their experience. Yeah, I'm gonna go with with these. Just spam them. Okay, um, they'll they'll meet up with him eventually. And others. Yeah, there's uh, militia. Eh. Militia is almost worthless in this game, but send them in there for the time being. All right, we're gonna to have to focus a little bit on construction as well because we need need cash. So where would be the best place for that? Look for something that's gonna give us the most bonuses. I don't have time to sit here and you know, really suss it out. Um, extra trade routes, wealth. Okay, we'll go with that. Yeah, let's establish some some trade agreements. Maybe with the Ottoman Empire might be a good idea. I don't intend to go with to war with them. How much is that worth? Oh, it's not showing. Um, minor nations, let's have a look here. Denmark, I don't intend to go to war with them anytime soon. Mecklenburg. So yeah, trade or die, bitch. That's all I'm going to say. I'll probably make a profit out of that over time, so that'll be good. Hessen, let's get a trade agreement. Sure. I've got to increase my cash. But yeah, not with Prussia because we're going to go to war with them. Yeah. Okay, so how's my income now? So fixing up trade. National summaries. We gained about a thousand extra income per turn. Now I've also got some forces here in Italy. So, these guys here, they're allied to me, but we start off here with a really trashy number of troops. I don't think we're going to be able to take Venice with this, but let's go and have a... No, oh shit. Might want to stick away from that. At least we need to bring in some more troops. All I've got is militia. I don't, I don't want to hire militia, it's just worthless in this campaign. Okay, I've got some more ships here. We should meet them, meet them down there. We should meet up. And try and find where the enemy trade ships are so that we can sink them. And I need to build trade ships of my own. It might be better actually if I build build that down here. I think it'll be safer. It's further away from the British. Do I have any trade ports of my own? I've got military ports. Which I'm not going to focus on that right now. I've got more troops here. Alright, I'm going to send him down here to meet up with them. Yeah, we'll take a little bit of attrition there, but... We just, I just need him to get over here quickly. So, you come over here, and you meet up with them. Can use the movement bug to get them a bit further, but that's alright. Okay, Spy, you come down over here as well. I want to see what's going on. What else have I got that I haven't really checked up on? I've only got a little bit of cash left. Not enough to do anything with. Okay, i got some troops over here. Bring them up north. We'll need, we'll need a force in the north of um, France to protect against the British until it's time to invade them. After they've made an invasion, it might be the time to attack them. 
Or maybe I should use Napoleon right now and go straight for it. Just go cut the head off the snake. They've got four settlements. Actually, five if you include that. Um, I'll tell you what, let's, let's see here. If, if um, Prussia trades with us, then we'll, uh, we'll go to war with someone else. Alright, um, look, I'll, I'll accept that payment, whatever. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's try and take out Britain straight off the bat, because the British are the main reason that the Napoleon lost the war in the first place. Now, with that, we need to slow down on the recruitment here. I'm going to need a ship. I just need one, I just need transport from here to there, that's all we need. I just need a crappy sloop, three turns. No, not militia. Now, you guys over here as well. Come this way. So you'll come over here. We've got three turns. Oh yeah, that'll be made in time. I'll reform my army as best as I can so it's organized. We'll try and bring multiple stacks over so that we can take on England. I think that's a good choice. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Wait, so choose a tech? Yeah. I mean, it's the richest land and it's right next fucking door. Why not go for it? So what if it's difficult? Just because something's difficult doesn't mean it shouldn't be done. If something's difficult, maybe you should do it first. Okay, how bad was the attrition? It's bad, but it's not that bad. Um... Can we... Do we get replenishment in alli allied territory? Yeah, not not heaps, but... Monsieur. A bit. Okay, meet up together. And you just, um... Go wait somewhere else. I keep thinking to click down here and go force march, because I was just playing Rome 2, but never mind. Can't do that. I still didn't pathfind any differently. I might change that up. So you can move over here. So this is a National Guard here. Just militia. Okay, so our recruitment order will be finished in next turn. Um, we're going to need more troops, definitely. Okay, what's the what's best artillery we can get? Eight pounders. Maybe a bit more of that. Do I have troops that I might have forgotten about? Where's my army lists? Lists. Armies. Okay, so just go along. Okay, I've got some artillery here. They don't, they don't need to be sitting there. I'll send them into Italy. Yeah, you're gonna. We're gonna send everything for the attack. Is this? Oh, Hanover. Uh, we don't have military access through Prussia. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, all right. Never mind. Well, let me just see if I can get it for even just a, like five turns. Okay, just so we can get these guys over here, we'll focus on Great Britain. Easiest way to uh, deal with their navies is just take out the faction and all their navies should disappear. And all we need to do is cross the English Channel. And unless they block out all my ports, they're gonna sh uh, which they don't do, should be fine. Alright, what are we going to build here? Gunsmith or, or this? I mean, it lowers happiness, which is not... How's the happiness here? Something from the lower class. What else can we build? A little bit of wealth from that. It doesn't cost much. Okay, go for that. Good, that's speeding up. Do we have any more gentlemen that I are unaware of? 
No. Good, that helps with public order, which is good. Okay, that all looks good. Moving on. Oh, I forgot about them. It's alright. We've got to cross the English Channel before fucking Nelson gets there. Okay, a whole bunch of new troops, and this ship should be available, yep, next turn, that's good. Okay, yeah, come stand over here. So how many more units do you need? Two. Here you go. Oh, we're not talking about three. Good, now he's got a full stack. Now we're going to send more than a full stack. We'll send this guy with the remaining troops that we've got here. Now how's our income? It's okay, we can certainly afford to have a few more troops. But it's also unnecessary. I think. We've got a stack and a half here. Well, let's just hope that's going to be enough to, to, to defeat England. Or at least get some gains on them. We'll see how that goes. And let's see about getting to to Venice. So stay there for this turn so you get some more replenishment. These guys are catching up. And we'll see how we go. Alright, got a little bit of cash. Let's build stuff. Really want to get some trade ships going as early as possible. Might be good if we could uh, capture some ships. And also, why aren't I blockading trade down here? And by Spain. They must have ships. Dan, I don't actually know where their ships are. How does that go for money? Well, that makes us a bit. It's better than nothing. Alright, we've got to build more stuff. What are we doing? So, if we upgrade this college. Improves faction wide research. Alright, let's grab that. The sooner we get the text done, the better. And let's move on. Hang on, is there any diplomacy that I might be able to do? Can't trade with anyone else. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Also, these videos, they are going to be hour and a half long, and they're 60 FPS. That 1080p. 1080p, 60 FPS. Uh, what was I doing with them? Oh, that's right, they were crossing over from... Thank you. Good. I think he's not going to be able to stop me. Unless they've got a ship there in England, we'll be able to cross. I'm hoping London is undefended. Or at least, like, they've got their armies spread out everywhere. If they're, like, sitting there with two full stacks, that's going to be a problem for us. And without the spy here, it's going to be hard to, to tell. Obviously, Napoleon needs to land first. Good, there's nothing there. Get him on the ship. It's a full stack in England. And there's... Well, we can't go any further. Well, at least we've landed here. I don't understand why they couldn't get any further than that. And you just land on the coast then. So that uses up all the movements of the, um... 
Why'd they burn up all their movement just to land there? That ship might come and attack us, but we'll just withdraw from it. No point fighting that. At least we've got these guys here now. Next turn we can attack London. Let's just hope it works. I could have brought those artillery in. Not a big deal. Oh, uh, where are they? These guys here, they might get a chance to reinforce, but later down the track. Just stay in uh, Paris for the time being. Okay, now over here... How much is defending here? Now, don't forget a lot of that would be militia, but their militia is better than our fucking troops because of um, the difficulty rating. It might be better to come up here. So how many units do they have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Up against our 11. Line infantry, 8 pounders, we've got some cavalry here. What kind of artillery do they have? It doesn't look like they've got any artillery. That'll give us an advantage. Monsieur, vos ordres? I might actually still just try and draw them out. Hang on. You come over here, I really need to know what they've got in order to make a, a judgement call on this. You're going to have to get in there. Just um, infiltrate. J'observe. J'écoute. Okay, so they do actually have artillery. This is going to be a lot of that crap in there. Alright, we'll circuit. take him out instead. Okay, easy order resolve there. Nous et oui? And just stay on the bridge oh, here. Non. Why are there... Uh, very slow replenishment rate because we're in allied Monsieur. territory, not in home territory. Uh, we may need some more recruits. Even militia. But like I said, that is not as much of a concern right now as uh, England. Let's get more, because after this is over, win or lose, we're going to need more soldiers. Alright, moving on. What's this? Opportunity to intercept. We should fight this... Oh, is it there that's going to intercept them? Um... We'll just order resolve that. Good, they lost... They lost way more than we did. They lost everything there. Yeah, withdraw from that. The withdrawal range is ridiculous. So they want to block us at the bridge there. That's okay, artillery makes holding a bridge pointless. I didn't have an alliance with, with Prussia, did I? Hmm. Didn't realize I was allied with them. Never mind. Okay. Doesn't really bother me. Alright, so these guys here took a bit of damage. Uh, actually, they all did. We can still go to London even without these guys. Even with those guys there. Let's do that. Now, I need my reinforcements. Okay, so it's an even match here. Let's see, we got three loads of artillery against their four. No, sorry, four loads of artillery against four. Um, it does seem very evenly matched. So it's just going to come down to skill here. Who are we up against? Arthur Wellesley, Duke of Wellington. Okay, so it's like Waterloo, but way earlier. If anything, the balance of power is like a slightly little bit out of my favour. So really going to need to pull all the stops on this one. It may have been better to have attacked the uh, the bridge, uh, keep that settlement under siege, and then attack the bridge with Napoleon's army, just to get rid of them first. But, um, oh well. This will be more entertaining. It's vital that we win this. What the fuck is that? 
I don't know if that's going to be in the video if you heard like that, that ding 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 sort of noise. I've never heard that before in this game before. I don't think that was my microphone. So I don't know what it was. A lot of background ambience noise here. It's even worse than my fan, even though I don't have it on right now. First video of the day, so actually it's pretty cool in the mornings. Alright, so we can see exactly how they're being set up. How are we going to set our troops up and what are we going to do about it? We want to be able to fight in such a way that all of our artillery is shooting and very few of theirs is going at the same time. So we should stick to a corner, I say, something along the lines of over here. Oh, our reinforcements aren't going to pop in until we actually withdraw some of our other troops. It's not 40 40 battles. That comes in in the next game. Alright, so deploy. Was that all there? What's with that audio? Okay. Do these have canister shot? Yep, okay. We really want to make use of canister shot. Actually, you go on this flank here. I'll be able to make better use of their mo mobility away from the buildings. And I want to put them on this flank here, but sort that out in a bit. Yeah, just try not to shoot my own troops. I'm getting organized here. But yeah, definitely want to try and take out some of that artillery, or just, just anything, really. Just blow the fuck up. I think I shot some of my... No, I didn't. Okay, good. We're alright there. Actually, going to reorganize a little bit. Got a few early kills here, which is great. You're really going to want to get rid of the enemy artillery. They're good at getting rid of cavalry, these guys, as well. So, take a defensive position here, because it works for us. And protect the artillery as much as possible. Napoleon, you should stay in the woods. I want you to be hidden. Okay, good. We've taken out two of their artillery pieces there. Now, these cavalry, they're coming in, so I want you to shoot them. Artillery's great at taking out cav. If they could actually get a shot in. Right, hold your fire. It's a bit risky leaving a big line of um, artillery there. Well, that is a great start we've just made there. That unit shattered. I mean, they haven't even got their artillery organized yet. And artillery, our artillery is just blowing them to pieces. The is a little bit quiet now, so I'm gonna just adjust it again. It's a fresh installation, so it's going to require a bit of tweaking. Okay, 
Okay, now they've started firing back. Okay, if you guys could stand a little bit more of this way, go wide. When they get close, you start using canister shots. Quite in range yet. Duke of Wellington over there, be good to kill him. Okay, we should be able to start using canister shot on them. Back here. Also, I don't know if he just gets wounded. Like, you can't actually kill Napoleon in this game, I don't think. You have to eliminate the faction in order to kill him. Stay, stay with that. Okay, the little things keep flashing up on my screen. What the fuck is that? Over here. What are these? Armed citizenry? Are they, do they have guns? Okay, so as long as they've got guns, it's not so bad. Gotta watch out for the sword armed motherfuckers. Right through the center. Shooting at the fucking flanks. Moron. Going here, everything seems to be going pretty well. Slight issue here with the ca with the cavalry. Right, where, where are these guys? Get in over here. It's okay, they broke. Get back on the cannons. And keep shooting. Get in here, kill these arms to the Did you broke them? Swing around over here. Deal with the next load of weapons that come this way. How are you guys going? Going reasonably well. Time for you to come around over here and flank them. This. Back. Oh, don't be shooting on my curve. I'll get out of here. It's not good. Get in there. Time to get into melee and crush them. We seem to be winning. Don't risk Napoleon's life. Our men are running, sir! They'd be cowards. Oh, actually, yeah, you should be a coward. Get out of there. It's okay, reinforcements are on their way. Okay, all artillery should stop firing now. We've got to reform up. We've repelled the first wave, but there will be more. Right, you got to stop. Get back in line. Turn around over here. Shatter them if you wouldn't mind. Get back on the artillery. Where the fuck is your artillery there? No, 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 go, go back to shooting. 
kill Arthur Wesley. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? You're in the wrong direction, you moron. The, the pathway is awful. It's alright. Is he going straight for my general? What's he doing? We're certainly going to be have to, having to be with um, uh, retraining for a little while, replenishing. What a mess. I just want some time to reform the lines. You should probably just, just leave. Okay, where my there's those cavalry get back over here. Reinforcements have arrived, but I don't really want this guy. Send him away. Reform the lines. Artillery, get back on your on your cannons. Our men are running, sir. What will they be under attack by? All oh, right, I should send the uh, where's the cavalry. Yeah, you. We're gonna take out these artillery. Okay, you can stop that now. Okay, we're gonna go back to canister shot and um, aim for them. Balance of power is only evenly matched, which is weird. Probably because due to all their reinforcements that are coming in now. Probably a good thing to get some of these guys off the battlefield, like this one here. Get them off. Same with you. Leave. Got plenty of reinforcements in reserve. Let's let's make use of them. Okay, I need the cannons to stop firing because I'm going to send the cavalry to go take him out. they got over here now. I never saw the the, uh, the English dude, um, Arthur Wesley. I didn't see him die. But he must have routed. Alright. Cannons start firing out this way. You're not going to hit anything, but just start firing. Good. we got more cavalry coming in. That'll be useful. Can I... Shift things around? No, I can't do that. Okay, you can leave the battlefield. I think the next fighting is going to happen over here. So, this is where we need to be prepared. Oh, hang on. They're already on their way. The thing is, from this angle here, my cannons aren't going to be very effective. Can you shoot down this way here if you can. Quite in range. Some of them are actually in range. So we're all using this also. We've got twelve pounders as well as six pounders. I imagine the six pounders don't have as much range. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, that cavalry's gone. Bounce of power's now well in our favour. Okay, you can leave the battlefield. I think there's still more reinforcements to come. Okay, we've got some artillery over here that, that are basically begging to be killed. So send them over there to go chase them, to go get them. Also, the units that are coming in here, they need to be run down because they're not going to automatically die because they're not sitting inside the settlement as garrison. Speed that up. Now they've got no cavalry left, so they're not going to be able to catch up to him. They left it completely undefended there. Are they firing or not? Yep. Only the 12 pounders have a chance of doing any damage, but if they do land a hit it'll be a lot of damage. Good, you wiped them out. Okay, now the bounce power's in our favor. We, we should win. All reinforcements are coming through here because it withdrew units that were too damaged to be of any further use. I'm actually quite enjoying this so far. I'm not worrying about too much whether or not I'm going to lose, just having fun. Oh, very nice. That being said, winning is a lot more enjoyable than losing. Okay, so now they're coming towards us. Let's try and pick them up as best we can in the meantime. I think more than anything, the artillery won us this battle. The amount of kills they must have must be huge. And notice how they ignored the cavalry. One of the biggest faults in the AI, I think, is the fact that they walk everywhere. Whilst, yes, f uh, units that are tired fight like shit, at the same time, when you're getting blasted by artillery, you want to get to your target as quickly as possible, at least I think. Possible, I'd like to not use them. That artillery will die because it's part of the garrison. Now these ones here, we've got to be very careful with them because if they lose any more men, then they won't get any replenishment. I don't think I can get more of those right now. I think 8 pounders is all I get from Paris. 
So when things start to get close, I'll pull them off the artillery. Careful not to shoot each other. That's the shot top. You come and come and get them in the. Time to get out of that. Go, run away. Go. I think it's time for melee. Let's go. Where's my other cavalry? You, get in over here. Fuck, they're shooting at my artillery. Get him out of there. Don't get, don't risk Napoleon's life sir, unnecessarily. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Get him out of there. I'm gonna have to hit this guy here in the rear. Actually, no, hit them. Cause I've got units all over the place. I think you're doing that well, get him out of there. How are they doing? Seems slightly, I should expect so. They're running. I just don't want to lose the battalion, get him out of there. Our men are running, sir! The battle should be won now. Probably a close victory, I'd say. Okay, everyone here. Do not fire at will. Just have the cavalry run. A glorious run. victory, sir, is soon to be yours. We're gonna run these guys down here to make sure they don't come back and just attack us with a bigger army. So you're gonna have to recruit your reinforcements from London for the time being. Get in, in, in on some of the action here. Of course, they won't get any recovery during the end turn because now they're technically going to be in foreign territory, as in the, the English forces that remain here. Which won't be that much. Okay. The men are fatigued, That's sir, enough. and must rest a while. Expected close victory there. Lost a lot of troops, but they lost more. They lost three times as much. So looking at this, it didn't look like we lost any any full divisions. And we actually got a bit... No, no, we didn't get any recovery. It's just that the, the, certain casualties weren't taken into account because there were the the, the carriage for the, um, for the unit. And if we loot it, we could get a ton of cash. But there's a lot of... We're going to want to hold on to this in the long term, so let's peacefully occupy it. Now, it's going to revolt it in three turns. We can't do anything to stop that from happening. But we can, you know, squash it as soon as it shows up. We've got a very large number of um, replenishment here. It doesn't look like they'll, uh, they'll be able to strike us anytime soon. We should probably just finish this guy off. Let's 
stay close to each other. And there we go. Well, that's the end of this campaign. <laughs> Not really, but... Uh, with London captured, England is as good as dead. I should say... What are they called? Great Britain. So let's repair all this stuff. So, like I said... The public order here is going to be shit. I mean, look at that resistance to foreign occupation. That's not going away in time to stop the rebellion. I mean, if we exempt it from taxation, it's not going to be enough. And we've got a full stack in here as well. But it'll... I'm sure the rebellion won't be too much. And we've got time to uh, replenish. And that's a huge victory. We've changed the course of history already. Do I have units recruiting in here? Yeah. So I'll send reinforcements here shortly. Alright, so looking at this now. Do we have what it takes to take on Venice as well? I mean... Going up there might actually be better because... I don't think it's defended. There's no way near as, as well defended. I mean, we're not getting any recovery, but we don't really need it. Um, winter's over. I'll send some militia over there to try and help. Okay, let's... How are we going for finances now? Increased by a little bit, nothing major. Okay, we've got our port here. So we want merchantmen. I already had one here, didn't see it. And there goes pretty much all of our cash. Okay, moving on to the next turn. Yeah, all they can do now is hope to blockade a few ports. It's not going to be enough. They'll need to raise some serious armies in order to... to kick them out. With order replenishment, he'll be up to full strength again in no time. We also need to send some forces down here to take Gibraltar if we want to truly finish them off. That'll get rid of all their navies. So who's going to stay here and... I guess they also want to stay here. Because I was just thinking maybe sending an army over here to t capture Wales. Which is their new capital. But they've got quite a lot of troops there so just continue to replenish. I mean... It's all, it's all coming in very quickly. Look at that fast replenishment rate, that's great. Um, just leave that be for the time being. Okay, I've got more soldiers here now. I do want to bring them in to, um, to London. Don't need the extra generals, but I'll bring in the, the extra cannons. Yeah, they, they can't move after landing, being disembarked. Interesting. wonder if there's an exploit to make them move for faster. I don't know. Okay, there's no rush. Okay, you come down over here, meet up with them. Now, we want Napoleon's army to be more standardized, so... I mean, I don't mind having different types of artillery. I certainly would prefer the 12-pounders over the 6-pounders. Six, six but units like the Voltigos, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce them, um, put them in the other army. I would just want him with uh, fusiliers of line. I keep him with the old guard, though, because those are, those are really good. And 
and the militia can go and that one. So basically, give him the good army. Now these guys here, the Chasseurs and Cheval, whatever the fuck they're called, um, they were they were pretty u damn useful because they can shoot as well as ride. Anyway, let's just take it easy. There's no rush. Hold on to England. There's going to be a revolt so there soon. Let's just keep keep building up the regions. public order here. Not great. If we upgrade this, then we can build that later. Because that provides extra repression. Yeah, we've got to... No, don't forget about these guys here. What are we looking for? I'm looking for, like, ships to raid. Why don't you go looking for it? Because this, this money's going somewhere. Oh, fuck me, I forgot about that. Um, this is an easy order resolve. So yeah, the English are qu quickly mustering a new army to come and deal with us. While we sit around in London and drink tea. You better believe we're going to kill the Spanish too, but just not yet. Deal with the English first. Actually, it'd be really good if the, the Spanish could go and take Gibraltar. Okay, so we've got public schooling there that'll help with research rates. Also, oh, we, we got Oxford. I didn't set a tech for that. Um, what should I research at Oxford? Probably that would be best. That'd be good as well. I mean, there's other stuff here we need to get. One repression to all regions. Public order is very important because there's a lot of stuff that to build that actually decreases public order. So we need to get that stuff done first. I haven't noticed them actually saying they're going to revolt. So I don't know what's going on there. This army's in good shape. Can it take on... See, this is lot, way more standardized. Alright, just come over here. Let's reorganize this. I think the rebellion will show up this turn. Um, so what are these? Lance the curve. Alright, you take, you take that. Take the grenadiers, the militia, and these guys. And give me uh, five of the line infantry. Supply post there got damaged. That would be really good for replenishment, so I should have repaired that. Oh, the, the rioting would have happened there. Right, I see. So yeah, the revolt is about to happen. Just wondering if... I kind of want to come over here and attack this. I mean, my forces are in pretty good shape. Can't quite reach. Alright, well... Napoleon, you start making your way over here. This guy here will deal with the revolt. Monsieur. 
Okay, looks good. What are we doing next? Well, we're out of cash. What are these guys doing? There's too many troops in there to justify an attack. They'll probably need to stay here for a few turns to maintain public order, and that's fine. I mean, we managed to take a region from them, so that's good. Better than nothing. Just be patient. All the, all the real fighting is going on over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's move on. Once again, forgot about them. If they at any point leave this area undefended, that's the time to attack. Because we've got to keep in mind that a lot of those troops are shit. What the hell's Russia doing over here? I mean, they really got here quickly. It's only, what, turn 6 or 7? They must have started off with an army fairly close by. Oh, you're going to go take it out, are you? I'm fine with that. What I really hope, though, is they go over there, attack it, and fail. That way... Because I don't want my allies getting bigger, because I'm going to take them all out eventually. But if they can weaken the Austrians, well, that's good for me. Ooh, that's a f fucking big rebellion. English. Right. I didn't think it was going to be that big. Well, Napoleon, you're going to have to come back here to deal with this, because that, that cannot be ignored. Saxony's gone. Okay. I mean, I did certainly want to take uh, Cardiff. The thing is, the amount of troops that they just got there for free is more than what we killed here in England. But there was no way to prevent a revolt, so we just got to suck this up. Just go over there and fight them. And I mean, we had enough time here to replenish this to full, so that was good. God damn it, they've actually got a really good army here. Nine pounders. Well, I guess that makes it the same on average, because we've got 12 pounders and 6 pounders. And loads of line infantry. It's almost an identical army to ours, except we've got more infantry than them. And since our infantry definitely do a better job versus cavalry, we should have a slight advantage. I don't need them coming in to help. They need to be ready to deal with the other one coming in. Still, I can't believe how large this rebellion is. Maybe it's scripted to be this large because it's England. Alright, at least we get to deploy first. We should deploy in such a way that it's to our advantage, not theirs, of course. Um, artillery on the flanks, cavalry on both flanks. I wonder if our 12 pounders can outrange their 9 pounders. Okay, we need a good spot for these. Some reasonably good high ground here. Might be a good idea to keep some of these guys separate. I'll put the 12 pounders here actually. And the 6 pounders. Hang on, stand back there for the time being. Let's put some of the old guard here. I know, I like to keep all my artillery together. It prevents a vulner it does create a vulnerability, but at the same time it's also a strength. And I, I I'm a big believer in high attack, even if it does leave you a little bit vulnerable. I would easily sacrifice defense for offense any day of the week. need to be a little bit more straight than that, because what happens if they start holding out over there? You can be able to turn around. Well, that's if, the, if these horses go, which there's a high chance of that. 
Alright, so if we have a look at the range. Yeah, the 12 pounders are well within range, the 6 pounders aren't. First thing I want to do though is shoot the cavalry. Because you do so much more damage to them. These are small targets, which means we're not likely to hit them. Better to have a high chance of hitting an unimportant target than a low chance of hitting an important target. See, so look at that. Kicking their cavalry's ass. And the cavalry is really is what's going to do the damage to my artillery. And my artillery is vital. Just need to tell them to keep aiming for the ground in this area. Anyway, the English, they're going to fuck around a hell of a lot, so... That's what they always do. And we've just killed their general. That was very lucky. Okay, now I still also need to... Move these guys into position. So far, this has gone very well. Probably end the video after this battle. Nice big fat target here. Hopefully they retreat off the battlefield so I don't have to deal with them. Well then again, yeah yeah, just get off the battlefield. We can deal with them another in another battle. I think they're shattered. I'm not getting fired out, so I'm fine to keep this up. Some kills. There we go. Sarge, get down. So it would be great if we also hit one of their cannons. Give us a cavalry, uh, give us an artillery advantage. Good, hopefully that gets rid of their cavalry. And look at that, they're, they're trying to reform now. Oh, look, the, uh, the flank's gone. We better reform the buddy. The whole entire army before we make our attack, so Stupid. Far too much focus on reforming their troops. If we kill them, they might try and reform again. See, we, we just couldn't get any hits on those artillery. It's very hard to get them. Well, they're not using them right now, so it's not, not urgent that we get rid of them. Oh, look, these cavalry that came back didn't quite shatter them. Look at 
this. We've got cavalry incoming over here. These are all really experienced as well. Still, I haven't taken a single casualty yet. Mount of Hell is not in my favor yet, it's slightly not. Reforming. So here come the cavalry. Once they're all reformed, they'll begin marching towards us. Which would be good if we could just keep shooting them for free. Good, now they want to reform everyone again. Hopefully this time they run off the battlefield. Imagine being a soldier in this army, just waiting there for half the goddamn day while being shelled by artillery and doing nothing in the meantime. Shouldn't we just fucking do something? Either march forward or back. Don't just stand still. Artillery reporting. Where do some of these shots actually hit these things? Good, they're shattered. They're not coming back. Okay, these guys are now being silly. Um. Get some shots in on them. Oh, hang on, hang on. We got uh, we got cavalry coming in. Be careful with them. Okay, they they're, they're going to shatter for sure. What I might do here is actually just pause the recording until they actually decide to advance, and I'll just keep shelling them in the meantime. Okay, looks like they're going to make an attack here with the cavalry. I don't think that's going to go well for them. Disappointing number of kills, but... Still, they're not going to do much with it. Got the artillery. No, I'm, okay, that's not doing so well. Got a whole bunch of kills over here before. So it's another two units completely shattered. They did a little bit of damage, nothing major though. I don't even know why they're not open firing with, with their artillery. They just keep moving it around everywhere. What are they looking for? Some good ground? I haven't been able to hit any of them yet, I don't think. 
Let's see if we get any hits on this. I think this is just, the terrain's a bit too uneven. Hard to get a proper hit on them. I think this might this unit here might be the last of their cavalry. Now, I think they had eight units in total, so for them to have lost seven units already, well, essentially eight. This is all. This is going to take us one hit right down here, and then they're gone. Um, to kill what twelve of my men? Which one took damage? Yeah, this one here. It's pathetic. So once again, I'll just pause the recording until the until there's something going on because they just keep moving back and forth along the line, which I'm fine to keep shooting them like this, but it is just time consuming. You know, I can't imagine it'd be particularly interesting for you guys to watch a one-sided battle. Okay, it finally seems like their infantry are advancing after what fucking half an hour of this battle. We've taken out quite a few of their artillery pieces as well, but they're not even using it, so I don't know why I'm focusing on them. Their infantry, pretty much all of them have taken some damage. Okay, no, now they're actually using them. Okay, it, they're coming at a sort of awkward angle here. Have I been shooting my own troop here a little bit? Even that, the amount of damage done to them is nothing compared to me out done to, to them. Um, when they get close, we can start using, uh, what's it called? Canister shot. You, once you ran the flank over here, so you can run the flanks. I think they might have one or two bits of cavalry. Still out there somewhere. I don't know. But now the balance of power is quite significantly in my favor now. Alright. You guys start blowing that up. You. You look less range, but just shoot on this anyway, so, um, don't have to micromanage it. They're not going to hit them until they come in range. Probably not going to hit that because of the hill in the way, so aim for them instead. Give this one a shot. Idiots. Start moving around the flanks over here. I can't even see them from there because of the hill. Oh, they're breaking. And we do need to run them down. firing at our artillery, but we do way more damage. Yeah, but that you know, do have both men. This is just completely one-sided. They don't stand a chance against us at all. Don't want these guys getting shot, so pull them back. Okay, time to go back to using standard shot. Because they'll, they'll probably come back at some point. Your job, take out the artillery. What happened here? Ah, oh, this is where they're hitting us with artillery. They must have just got hit, because they're getting back up. Ok, 
Okay, there you go. Next one. For where these artillery are shooting. to run them down. We're gonna take out those artillery as well, that's gonna be Okay, artillery stop firing, I don't want to shoot my cav. I imagine the battle's gonna be over very soon. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. There's no way this one's gonna be a close victory. We crush them. Like all units are routing, so I'll just pause the recording as soon as it gives us the victory screen so that I can concentrate on running these guys down. So, yeah, I'll pause it now. And there we go, decisive victory. Probably only take us one turn to recover those casualties, so that should make it a lot easier, a lot easier for us to deal with the remainder of this revolt. Now, if they come charging down here, we're probably not going to be able to um, get them to help. But that being said, we've still got more troops in here than they do. There. And after after that just pathetic display of defense, we should be okay. Now, we didn't get the military crackdown on that. Now, if we did get it, the military crackdown, we might actually be able to maintain public order from here on out. We'll still need to build more things like opera houses. But anyway, that's the end of this episode. Oh, hang on. No, we're not an hour and a half, so I'll keep going a bit longer. Um, so it's not the end of this episode. Not yet. Almost an hour and a half. Just two minutes away. Alright, so not making any attack on that right now. So we can get uh, Fusiliers of the line here. Those are much better than Militia, especially for this difficulty. Nothing much else to do. So let's just move on to the next turn. Now, if I had to guess at what those... Um, Rebels are going to do, the revolutionaries, they're probably going to go and raid the countryside. But that's a guess. And I was wrong. Alright, so it looks like we do need to fight this battle. I'm not going to do it now, though. The balance of power is not anywhere close to being in our favour, probably due to not having great units. But we do have artillery, same amount as they do. Actually, not necessarily, because that's at 8 pounders and 6 pounders. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Uh, so, like and subscribe, part 2 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.